Hey everyone, today I want to answer the question, is slow motion overused? I feel like if you spend any time on YouTube, you'll see slow motion very, very soon um, because it is very, very popular in the filmmaking community. You'll see slow motion all over the place, specifically 120 frames, you know, that buttery, creamy, smooth slow motion. Now, this looks amazing and I am an advocate for slow motion. I love slow motion, but when it's used properly. And I do think that um, today in the world that we live in, we see a little bit too much slow motion. Sometimes it's used as, um, yeah, I mean, it's sometimes used as a crutch. Um, and I think people will often rely on slow motion to stabilize their footage, um, or just they think that B-roll can only look good if it's at 120 frames, which just is not the reality. When you, you know, look at classic, you know, cinema and TV um, or commercials, you know, most shots are filmed at 24 and, and slow motion is used and slow motion can look amazing and beautiful when it's used properly, um, but it's, it's used strategically and carefully. Um, it's not used in every shot and it's not used every time that the camera isn't, you know, um, it doesn't have dialogue in it, but instead it's used to highlight specific moments to show, you know, movement in a certain way or to, you know, make something feel really big and epic. And so in, in your videos, there definitely are moments like that where slow motion is gonna be very, very helpful and valuable. Um, but there's also gonna be a lot of moments where it's not and don't sub in slow motion to those places where it's not needed because it's just going to cheapen the slow motion that you do add. If everything's at 60 frames or 120 frames, um, then nothing's gonna look epic anymore. Everything's just gonna look the same. I think one of the biggest culprits that I see this used in is wedding videos. And I think that's one of the biggest ways that you can tell a cheap wedding video from you know, well-crafted, expensive wedding video. Um, if you look at some really, really, you know, well-established um, YouTube wedding channels like The Film Poets um, or, you know, Pen Weddings or something like that, you'll notice that not everything that they shoot B-roll wise is at 60. Um, maybe they shot it at 60 and they just, you know, sped it up to back to 24, but they know when to actually use slow motion. Um, and, and it's not that often. There's certain shots that are slowed down and they feel amazing and they feel epic and they just give you this, you know, emotional response. But the reason that they do that is because most of the, the film was filmed at 24 frames and they have a lot of these moments that are, are captured in real time, which just makes, it makes you feel like you're actually a part of them. Um, and that's the thing with slow motion is it makes you kind of feel a little bit removed. It feels like you're kind of watching this dreamlike sequence or things are kind of moving at this, this pace that we don't actually see in, see in real life. Um, but when you shoot things at 24, it, it's, it's more natural to us. Instead of feeling, you know, super real um, or hyper real, it, it feels normal. It feels like, like something that we recognize. It feels familiar. Um, and sometimes these are the things that make it feel really human and personal. And so you don't want everything to be, be kind of out of this world. Um, you want to pick your moments with that. Another thing I see a lot is often, you know, in the, the music choice in these wedding videos is there'll come this part at the end where it's the crescendo and the song is really upbeat and, you know, fun, but, but then everything's shot in slow motion and it kind of feels counterintuitive. When, when the song is upbeat and, and you want to have energy in it, slow motion actually kills that energy. Um, it makes things feel big and epic and hyper real, which is great, but it doesn't make things feel energetic. Um, what actually does make things feel energetic and keeps pace up is 24 frames and you have movement that is at normal speed and, and those cuts are faster. That actually was, is what gives it a lot of that energy. Um, and you can intersperse that with a few shots that are in slow motion, but if you have a really upbeat song or an upbeat part of a song and then everything's in slow motion during it, um, in my opinion, it kind of takes away from what you're trying to accomplish. My advice would be um, learn how to stabilize your footage properly so that you don't have to rely on slow motion. Oftentimes, I, I know why people use it. It's because that shot, um, it wasn't stabilized for long enough or they weren't holding on the shot for long enough, so it's easy to just slow it down and kind of fake it that way. Um, and, and I get why that happens, but let's just fix it. 
you know, let's let's invest in some stabilizers. Let's get a gimbal, a steady cam, um, and have our shot stabilized. Um, or if you are gonna go handheld, you need to learn, you know, how to shoot good handheld, which usually means weight. It usually doesn't mean, um, you know, in-body stabilization or anything like that. It usually just means buying a camera and lenses that have good weight to them and also, you know, building it out so that you have a grip and something that you can actually hold it out a little bit wider and stabilize it so that the camera doesn't have those little micro jitters. So that's my opinion on slow motion and if it's overused these days. Um, hopefully this was helpful. If you did like the video, give it a like, subscribe. If you disagree with me, um, let me know in the comments You know what your perspective is on this. I would love to hear your take on this subject. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.